I'm Maya. Thanks for being here. Today we are going to do some back bends for a heart themed inspired yoga class. This month is February and February is all about love and hearts and sharing with each other and caring. So in order to let our hearts feel a little bit more open and able to love and give and receive love, we're going to do some back bends and then we'll counter them with some forward folds because the back part of our heart should also be flexible and open. Okay, so we're going to start with a little breathing. We're going to start with our hands together to form a heart shape, fingers curled in, and thumbs pointing down, and rest right over your heart. Your eyes open, you can gently close your eyes. We're going to breathe in with an inhale and reach our hands out. And then exhale, bring it in. Just like a heartbeat, rolling. Bring it back in. Nice, one more. You could also do this with a partner. If you have someone on either side of you in your family, you could share the love and bring your arms up. Now we're going to do a little sun salutation to just help our bodies get moving. Before we do back bends, it's important to make sure that our muscles are warm so that we don't hurt ourselves at all. It's not fun to do yoga and be in pain. So let's stand up. Do a little yoga flow. Just start to stand tall and reach up for a mountain or tadasana. Crescent moon, stretch to one side. Breathe in. Stretch to the other side. Good. Do a little baby back bend in the hang up. And then a gentle forward fold. And let's hang out in this forward fold for a couple breaths. Then bend your knees one at a time. Let your head be heavy. Maybe sway your arms side to side. Keep rocking your knees. Good. And then grab your elbows and let yourself rest a little further forward. Bend your knees more to round your back, but let your head be heavy. Good. Now on an inhale, place your hands on your legs, straighten your spine for half a lift. Hands down, step all the way back to plank. Knees down lower. Little baby cobra gaze forward, lift your hands, point your toes. And then hands and knees all the way to down dog. Good. Two breaths here. Lift your heels. Then lower them back down. One more. Very good. Now, tippy toe your feet. Walk them all the way up. Bend your knees. Good. Half knee lift. Forward fold. Reach all the way up. Good. And let's sink into a chair. So. Gently bend your knees and forward fold. Halfway lift. Hands down. Plank. Knees down. Lower. Baby cobra lift. Hands and knees press up all the way to down dog. Good. Now let's just do a little low lunge on each side. So step your foot. All the way to your knees. Gaze forward. See if you can straighten that back leg. Nice job. One more breath. And press that foot all the way back for down dog again. Pick up your other foot. Bring it all the way to your hands if you took a couple steps. Good. And then lengthen out your spine. Gaze a little bit forward. Breathe. And put that foot back where it was. Good. Last down dog. Sink your heels down. Bend your knees a little. Very nice. Tippy toe walk your feet to the middle. And then roll up. Tuck your chin to your chest. All the way to standing. Good. Shake it out. Good. All right. So we're going to do our back bends. Anytime you're doing a back bend, you want to make sure that you're imagining belly button is going in and towards your spine, the bones in your back. That will help protect your back so you're not hurting yourself. 
you don't want to back bend like this, that'll hurt your lower spine. Another thing you can help remember is keeping your shoulders open when they're rounded. And then we do a back bend, that might not feel so good either. So keep your shoulders open, maybe palms to face the front. And we're gonna start with our hips, hip or feet, hip width distance. Okay, so we're gonna do waterfall first. We already did a little version of this. And then the opposite fold is forward fold. Okay, so feet hip width distance. Hands can press together like this, or you can fold your hands like this, or grab a wrist on each side. First, we'll start by reaching all the way up and back for waterfall. Pull your belly button, reach up and back, and more up. Good, and then we're gonna fold gently forward. Again, bend your knees. That will help if you're feeling anything in your low back. Bending your knees can really help. Let's do that one more time. Roll up, tuck your chin. Waterfall. Really bring your shoulders back in together. Belly button in. And gentle forward fold. Going nice and slow. Make sure that you're not going to hurt your muscles in your back. If you are hurting, don't go as far. Take it nice and easy. Good. Now we're going to bring our hands down. Step our feet back. We're going to go into another one that we already did, knees down. We're going to come into baby cobra. So squeeze your feet together into your toes. Lift your hands and shoulders. Gaze straight ahead. Or maybe a little bit down at your mat to help strengthen your neck. See if you can lift up a little further. Squeeze those shoulder blades together on the back. And then rest. Now tuck your toes. Press all the way back to child's pose. This is another good one to stretch our lower back. Rest your head, maybe on your hands or on the floor. Good. So it's baby cobra and child's pose. Next is cat and cow. So hands and knees. Make sure that your knees are underneath your hips, your hands under your shoulders, fingers wide. We're going to come into cat by shifting our shoulders back and down. Gazing forward and arching your back a little bit. Breathe. Good. And then cow, pull your belly button in, belly button in, all the way up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin to your chest. Good. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. Cow. And cat. Pull that belly button in. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna do up dog. So lowering down again to your belly. Bring your hands back by your ribs. You're gonna be using your hands on the tops of your feet to lift you all the way up off the floor. Okay, so press up, straighten your arms, lift your legs and knees. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Press your heart forward, sending love to anyone in front of you. Anyone that you might think of. Good. And then we're going to come all the way to down dog. So now press your heart back towards your knees. Maybe wiggle your toes. And breathing. Very nice. Come all the way down. All right. Now we're going to come all the way up to our feet for some warrior poses. So standing up with your feet. Nice and wide. Toes can be facing towards the screen. And then you're going to take one set of toes and face them that way. And you're going to bend into that knee. And I need to step my feet a little further apart so that my knee doesn't go over my toes. So I'm going to bring this foot back and then bend my knee right over my ankle. Arms out. And we're going to do a reverse. Okay, so reaching up, gazing towards the ceiling, lift your heart all the way up. A nice little back bend here with the side bend as well. And then to go the other way, we bring that arm down to our knee and stretch up the other way. Again, pulling your belly button to your spine. Very nice. Let's do that on the other side. So bring these toes back to face the screen, other toes the other way. 
bend into your knee. Again, if you need to step your feet further apart, so your knee stays over your ankle, that's fine. Arms out. Reach up and away from your bent knee. Opening up towards the ceiling. Breathing. And then extended angle. Come all the way down to me and reach the other side up to the ceiling. Very nice. Breathe. Good. All right, we're gonna come back down to our knees for camel, okay? Camel is one where we don't wanna crunch into our low back. We're gonna be thinking about pressing our heart all the way up to the ceiling. So hands on your low back to protect it. Belly button in, tuck your chin back, like you have a triple chin, and then look up. Squeeze your shoulders together behind you. Breathe. If you feel comfortable, you can go a little further, but make sure you're looking up at the ceiling. Good, and then our counter pose for this is just to sit on our heels and notice our heart rate. That one makes my heart go really fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. Take a couple deep breaths. Good, now the next one is my favorite. It's half bow and it makes me think of like Cupid and the bow and arrow. So this is perfect for February. Lower all the way down. You're going to take one hand, reach for your foot. I take the inside of my foot, but you do whatever feels good. Your other hand reaches straight forward. Now you're going to press your foot away from your shoulder to lift up. There we go. Lifting everything up. So I'm almost just belly, balancing on my belly. Good, rock a little bit, good, breathe. And then release, stack your knees underneath your forehead, elbows wide, feet wide for crocodile. Head down and breathe. Relax all the muscles in your legs. Let them soften into the ground. Okay, now the other side. Reach your other hand back to your foot or your ankle. I like to have my foot flexed. Reach your other hand forward and then press up. Press that foot away from you. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe. And release. Sending arrows of love. Head back down on crocodile, feet wide. Just breathe. Good. Now we're going to come onto our backs for either bridge or wheel, which is a really big heart opener, so take it carefully. And then we'll do our last pose. So for bridge, keep your feet under your knees, your hands stay down by your hips. Your whole arm is going to press into the floor along with your feet, just like this. Lifting your hips up, pressing your arms down, pressing your heart up towards the ceiling, almost towards your chin, which is kind of fun. Make sure you're looking up at the ceiling to protect your neck. Breathe in and out, all the way down. Good. Now, if your back is warmed up and it's not hurting, you can try a wheel. Hands go above your shoulders, fingers facing your shoulders, elbows up. Press in with your hands and your feet to straighten your arms and come into wheel. You can stay a little lower or all the way up. You can work on straightening your legs. Press your heart through towards whatever you are looking at. Breathe and come down. Nice and gentle. Keep looking straight up at the ceiling and then bring your hands down by your sides Press your soles of your feet together and let your knees open. So we're climbing butterfly. This is our final pose before we relax in Shavasana. Take a couple breaths here. Notice how your heart is feeling. Mine started beating a little faster. It feels like it has a little more space too, which for me makes me feel like I have more love to give than I've received. 
Go ahead and straighten your legs for Shavasana. You can take just a moment here. If you'd like, you can close your eyes. And just focus your attention on your heartbeat. Notice the beating. Feel it beating. You can always put a hand on your chest to feel your heartbeat. And notice how your heart feels when you think of somebody that you care about. Notice maybe what happens to the muscles in your face. Notice what happens to your heart when you think about yourself. I hope that you have the same loving and caring reaction when thinking about yourself as you do about others. It's very important. Now, sometimes it's important also to carry the same feeling of love and gratitude to others that we don't really care for, or maybe someone that we disagree with. Even if we disagree, we can still show kindness and care. Try to cultivate that feeling, create that feeling in your heart, no matter who you're around. If it's just yourself, if it's your family, your friends, or people that you maybe disagree with or that are different from you. All beings deserve love and kindness. Toes, reach your hands over your head and stretch. Roll to one side and gently, when you're ready, come all the way back up to a comfortable seat. Let your shoulders relax back and down, noticing how your heart feels. We've had a wonderful I'm doing a little bit of love and heart and themed yoga with our back bends. If you have any 